Alrighty guys, so how's she going today? So it's Fortunately it's kind of uh, spitting out I'm Trying to see who's coming They're coming at light speed There's no bad care about uh, New Ford pickup <laughs> So anyways um, We got a little bit of rain today just enough to, you know, dampen the damn ground. Well, it's drying a little bit. But, uh, checked up on the flood yesterday. Uh, the flood has... Give me the right key, damn it. The flood did has come up. It's up to... You know, basically right where the... Uh, where the old fence used to be at. My key's stuck. For crying out loud, how the hell did this happen? There. I gotta get into the shop anyway. So, gotta unlock it. <clears throat> so, yeah. River's come up. I believe it's, uh, from what the thing says, it's risen to like 46 feet or something like that. I don't know how they, how they look at it, but that's what it says. So, yeah, but down in the cities, which are only about an hour from here, um, they're already starting to drop a little bit anyway. So, usually if they're dropping, that means that we're not too far behind from dropping. So, I don't know if the water will even get to, to the dike like it has in past years, um, which is fine. I'm not going to really care about it anyway. So... <clears throat> but uh yeah so it did a little something today i well, I started doing it yesterday but it uh it was just gonna take a little while and that sounds like That almost sounds like thunder. But it's not though, because it's continuous. Must must be a dozer. Must be a dozer somewhere. Yeah. So anyways, got sidetracked again. Well, I guess maybe I'll just flip you around, because I gotta kinda have to show you anyway what I did, so let me flip you guys back around. Okay, so I flipped you guys around. So we're gonna see something laying on the ground here that obviously I'm done promoting because it was on my roof for quite a while. And uh, like I said, I'm not promoting them anymore because I don't want their junk. So I'll get this off, you guys can take a look here. Yeah, finally, finally. Got the piece of shit off my roof. Finally got it off my damn roof. Um, we managed to reuse their wiring and stuff, which wasn't too bad. And I know you guys are probably wondering what I put in its place. Well, that's what I put in its place. I put my uh, TV antenna up. <clears throat> and uh, I have the... Uh, yeah, I have the booster downstairs, um, down in the basement. I know it probably should be, and my uncle said that it should be, um, the thing should be by the antenna. You know, it should be right next to the antenna there. But I told him that that one was not, I uh, was not, a, it was not a outdoor uh, some bitch. It was an, it was only an indoor one. So, because I'm not going to be able to give you guys too many shots because it's not unless you're actually on top of the roof. But uh, yeah, I just reused uh, Directv's mount, and 
mounted the uh, antenna to the antenna to that. <clears throat> now I don't think it's over. Uh, look here, it's not over the roof line. You know that the you know like the point. I don't think it's over that because it's not very high up. Hey, and then I just found what I was been looking what I lost. Had to wait for the snow to melt. That's the tip for my marker for my plow. I was looking for that. I'm glad I found it. I'll put it back on. So, yeah. So there it is. <clears throat> so yeah, that's kind of that's really the point of showing you too much of it, but. Just from what it looks like, it looks like it's not over the roof. Now it should be over the roof. It really should be up as high as you can possibly get it, but I figured I'd just try it there. I should have brought the damn thing with me. But I uh, I just wanted to try it there. You guys just can't see me at all here. Those aren't the coloring, but it, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, all we did was we just, well, I had, how do I explain this? I put the the, the, the booster downstairs. I did that last night because that wasn't going to be a, a bad job. I still have to do some rerouting of the, of the power wire. Um, so, but yeah. But my uncle thinks I probably should get rid of the uh, the booster and go get a get one that was meant to be outdoors because apparently they're more powerful. But it's more than good enough. It's doing what I wanted to do. Now, if you probably noticed that the direction that it's facing, well, it is facing south. Well, kind of southwest. It's not directly south south, but it's south enough because. I am, surprisingly, I am picking up seven channels with this thing. Now, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not. Some people pick up, you know, they can pick up 30 channels or 40 channels and, and beyond. You know, it just, it all depends on, you know, how close, you know, how close your, your towers are. And, unfortunately, there's only one tower that's, like, within a couple of miles of here. So, and then there's one up in Canada, and then there's the one down there in the cities that I, I was hoping to get to, and I'll be damned, I am getting to the cities. Now, the cities are over an hour away. Um, by Google's Maps, it says that from here to the cities, it's about 75 miles, which is actually within range of what the antenna can do. Now, they claim with this antenna, it can go 140 miles. When I bought it on eBay, the guy claimed it would go 200 miles, but that was false. Clearly, that guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Unless you probably really put it up really, really high and use the biggest booster you could possibly use on these antennas without blowing them up. Maybe you could you could redline your antennas then and get it, get it up to that 200 mile mark. But 140 was enough for me because I knew really how far the cities were from here. So I'm okay with that. So I am getting... See, there is no weather channels like here, here. The main one that covers our area is down in the cities. So, and they cover pretty much our county you know and then most of North Dakota so or a good chunk of it anyway so and that's what I was hoping to get at least was at least the weather channel from down there because I knew that they broadcasted for free now they do they do do it through companies you know like direct TV and you know stuff like that they go through those companies as well but um, I just don't like this damn lighting. It's so stupid. 
but it is what it is. So, but surprisingly, it's doing very well. I mean, I'm. It's not going to be obviously like what it would be in the cities if I lived closer. I probably would get more. So, but I am getting. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm getting seven channels, but I can't remember where they're coming from. I know my uncle said where they're coming from, but I don't remember. But I know that there's two coming off this tower. That's the closest to us. And then I think there's two or three or something like that that I'm getting from Canada. And the antenna's not even pointing in that direction. And then... Then I'm picking up whatever I'm picking up from down south. So... That's honestly not too bad. Um, for how cheap the antenna is, it's... Doing okay for me. I'm happy with it. I mean, when I do watch... Um, it's, not, it's not the weather channel, though. Um, it's the Justice Channel. We get that here. I don't know about wherever else in the rest of the world, but it's, I think it's, oh, well, it sounds like, you know, like a cop channel. I think they play show cops and stuff on there, you know, things that got to do with the cops and the law. I'm guessing that's what they, I don't watch that channel. I think my mom does occasionally, but we get the HD version of that, so we watch it at HD channels, so we don't really watch it. See, what these people... You know, through the, the antenna, they really don't do HD. There's, a, there's like one or two that'll do HD, but the rest of them are like 480, 480p or something like that. You know, it's kind of lower quality stuff, but it's, you know, not that we really care about it. So, I mean, it's clear enough that if you had to watch something on there, you could. You know, it's not a loss. So... The main thing I just wanted it for was, you know, kind of just a backup. And just kind of, you know, with the, the company I'm with right now, they, they're they literally charging me an arm and a leg. Now, we don't have all the channels that they actually offer because it's too expensive. So, we have enough, you know, that we're happy with it. You know, we get... Well, I think Mother would be a lot happier if she had the movie channels because she enjoys watching new movies as they come out. Well, we don't have that option right now because we don't have the movie channels. But for the movie channels, that's a, that, that's a very expensive package, you know. So, you know, and I don't really watch a lot of movies. I mean, I, if I'm going to watch a movie, I'll just go find it on fucking Netflix. I have my sister's account. I have the password and everything, so I can watch Netflix for free. I don't have to pay for it. I get it for free from my sister. So, because she's okay with sharing her account with us. So, yeah. So, we get that for free. I actually lost the password, so i got to find it again. But, now, yeah, Netflix is going to be a little bit behind. You know, they're not going to show the new stuff right away. It'll be a year or two before you see it. You know, they're kind of behind. So, 6 o'clock, I guess. But, yeah. So, sounds really loud today. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. And the thing with the cable company that I have now is, well, like I said, they're charging us an arm and a leg. Literally. Um, but they said that they have no control over that because it's whatever the other company wants that they're under, I guess. That they're, they're the ones that come up with the prices, I guess. I don't know. They explained it, but I'm not that kind of a geek, so I don't understand that kind of stuff. So, it's garbage to me because they're overpaying, over, you know, over, well, overpricing this stuff. 
and I don't know how, I know that there's a lot of other people around here that deal with them. Everyone in this town, everyone in the North Coast side deals with them. I don't know what their opinions are about them. I'm not even going to say their name, but they're a local company. Um, but they're just ridiculously too expensive. And if it gets bad enough, again, just like DirecTV, I'm kicking them to the curve. You know, because I'm I, the only thing I'm going to keep from them is the internet. Everything else is going to go then, because that's just ridiculous. Um, so that's just the way it's going to be. Because I'm not paying that amount. Of, I'm I'm paying way too much for what we have even now. It's just it's beyond nuts. And honestly. I only watch a few channels. You know, I wish that they would give us an option where we could just pick the channels that we like the most and we'll pay for them channels. And everything else can get kicked to the fucking curve. But they don't do it that way. They do it in bundles. So you're paying for channels that you don't ever, ever watch. You know, which is not fair. It's not right. So, but they're not going to care anyway. No, none of these companies are, are going to care. Because they know if they, if they do it that way, you know, they're, they're going to lose money. Which I don't really see how. I think you'd gain money because, you know, you're, allowed, you're letting people make choices on what channels they want to watch. And they're going to more most likely stay with you because you're giving them more choices. So, but that's not the way it is here. Getting some kind of, uh, oh, lost it. Yeah, funky clouds. Cool. So, but yeah, I don't know, I'm alright with it, it's, I mean, it's a cheap antenna, I paid like what, 20, 30 bucks for the fucking thing, I got it off of eBay, and surprisingly, it's performing to my liking, it's not perfect, it's by, it's not, it's far from perfect, but it's doing what I'm asking it to do, so... Um, I could get, I, if I really wanted to, you know, go nuts, I could buy a 10 foot tripod, get like a 20 foot pipe, get a rotor, put the antenna on the rotor, put the rotor on top of the pipe, you know, get the biggest freaking booster you can find, which I'm going to find one anyway at some point, because my uncle thinks that that little cheap thing isn't really worth it. He says that there's a... Uh, a amplifier apparently he's got one that you just basically what it does is it sends power through the cable and it powers your 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 booster you know like so you're not having to run a power wire up to your antenna you know it's built into the wire your coax wire i guess or some kind of a special wire i don't know he wasn't really explaining it all that well but he says you can get those kind of wires that lets you send power right through them to power your your amplifier. That's what they're called, but I call them a booster. So that might be an option just to see if I can, because this the channels down in the cities um, are a little bit weak. They're only at about twenty five percent, you know. That's all. That's that's all I'm getting out of it. Is 25 percent. That's how much power, I guess. You know, I don't know how to explain it. That's just what it is. So, whereas the rest of the channels that are here and that are coming from Canada, they're at 75 percent, meaning that it's a very strong signal. See, the ones to the cities are kind of slightly weak. It's not zero. It's 25. So I'm picking it up, but. Every now and then you do get, you know, a little bit that kind of cuts out on you, you know, and that kind of, you know, can be annoying, especially if you happen to be watching the weather channels, you know, and you want to see where the, that, that damn tornado's at, you know. Now, yes, you can look it up on your map, you know, I mean, you can look it up on your phone, you know. It's just that their kind of maps don't really show a lot, and it's not up to date, not like it is on TV. At least on TV, it's up to date. So, you know, that's why 
I went with that. Now, yes, we are we do get that those channels through our cable company as well, so it's not like a total loss. I mean, you know, like we do get it, but you know, if something should happen with them, they something blows up at their their place, you know, and we don't have cable from them. At least we'll have something. Or if we don't want to risk, let's say we should have a really bad lightning storm. We don't really want to risk, you know, our good TVs getting struck by lightning. We can run a piece of shit TV and run it off that antenna, you know. So, you know, that's, that's you know, it, it just kind of gives you more choices. You know, you can kind of do what you want. So... Um, but, yeah, so we'll probably, um, I'll try to pick up a bigger, uh, booster at some point for it, um, unfortunately, with this one, it has non-stop power, you know, because it has to, unfortunately, it has to be plugged in to a 110, 120, you know, outlet, so I went and did it down in the basement, I could have did it up by my TV in my room somewhere there, but it's just another thing in my room that's in the way. More cabling. I'd either put it somewhere where I don't have to look at it or deal with it. So downstairs was the only option. And it would just be easier, I guess. But my uncle says it would do better if it was literally right next to the antenna. So those are his words. I don't know if that's true or not. So... <clears throat> So I will be looking. I think Channel Master, I think, makes boosters. And they're actually outdoor boosters. I know I watched a YouTube video of a guy. He was trying, like, four or five different antennas and boosters. But the most ones that he ever tried were from a company called Channel Master, I think it was. So I'll, I'm, I'm actually going to probably go watch that video again, see what kind of boosters he was using. I think he was using a 16... DB and then I think a 20 or something. I don't know. But I'm going to find a bigger one. Or use one of those or something. And my uncle said to make sure it was rated for outdoor use. Not indoor. That's the problem with this one. Is that it's rated for indoor use only. Because it's not waterproof. You can tell it's. Uh, well it's cheap. And it runs non-stop. Unless you go downstairs and unplug it. But I'm not going to do that. So, but yeah, and right now I just have, we disconnected the, the splitter, so the antenna is directly, basically hooked up directly to my TV. Not my main TV, it's hooked up to my, my second TV that I have that I use for my old laptop. Um, I got it hooked, hooked up to that. Um. That TV is starting to have issues too now, so because it's cheap and things are breaking on it. So I figured, well, it would be a good sacrifice TV, you know, for lightning. If it should ever get hit by lightning or something, you know, then at least, you know, screw it. Because sometimes you have to watch the weather channels, you know, as long as you possibly can. You know, especially if they're a tornado warrant or something, and, you know, they're showing where this tornado is and where they think it's going to go. I mean, you have to know. You know, until it's basically too late, you know. Give yourself a minute or two, at least so you can get downstairs if you have to, but. You know, we got we got to know as long as we possibly can what's going on, so. <clears throat> but yeah, other than that, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm happy with it. I'm really surprised that it's doing that good for not being above the roof line because it looks like here it's not above the roof line so but that's fine it's doesn't have to, I mean it doesn't have to be it's working fine but like I said if you really wanted to get true range out of it you could get it up 20 feet you know put a rotor on it well, technically, I guess for me, I don't have to put a put a, ro or a, ro a rotor on it because I'm picking up channels all the way around me because I'm picking up Canada, too. 
Uh, I think the one channel is CKY or something like that. I think that's a Canadian channel. I think. And they're up in Canada, I guess. So I'm picking it up. And my antenna is not even pointing in that direction. But I think my the way these antennas are designed is that they are... They will pick up 360 degrees. It's just that they're better on focusing on one spot. <clears throat> kind of explains, you know, the, like the reflectors and stuff. They kind of... It basically... Well, how can I explain this in kind of like a dumb way to people? It basically kind of like shoots a beam out, you know, and it just focuses on whatever is kind of like within that beam area, you know, within that, uh, the main part of the antenna, which is right now is, is pointing southwest. So, <clears throat> so that's where it's doing, you know, like 90% of its focusing is to the southwest where it will pick up other stuff around but i think that's only because the towers even the one up in canada they're so powerful that they actually are pushing their signal over here so maybe my antenna house you know it can pick it up easy um, well i know that with that redneck antenna i made you know it, it never did that it only picked up the two channels that were coming right here so in a a, a antenna it does make an, a, a you know a good improvement. I don't mind the look of. I know some people are don't like the look of antennas on top of their roof, but I don't mind it. I got a well technically if you think about it, this is my third antenna now. It's not they're all they're all separate antennas, but I got three antennas on my house now. I got. Well, it's basically, it's really a scanner antenna, but I'm not using it to scan police bands or anything like that. It's for my weather radio. That's at the furthest of the house to the west. That's that little antenna. I put that up quite a few years ago. Me and my uncle did that. Uh, and then the second antenna is my CB antenna for the CB radio. And now I have... The TV antenna. So if I really wanted to get stupid, I could put probably one more antenna between the TV antenna and the CB antenna. I think you have to have at least four to five feet between between each antenna, so they're not interfering with each other. So, and then of course I could probably put another two antennas on the garage roof if I really wanted to. Like if I really wanted to get stupid with antennas, that's how you really could do it. But what I wouldn't mind doing is on the garage roof side is maybe put a put a turbine up there. You know, it doesn't have to go up there, but it would be fine up there to get some free power. Now I know guys, guys, a lot of guys are like, eh, you know, they got a lot of things that require a lot of power, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't understand the two under under you know that it's just it's not going to really you know, power anything 24-7. It would be more kind of like a backup power source kind of thing. So batteries would, would be fully charged. But if I was to put it on, put something on solar powered, it honestly probably would, would just be like my CB radio because that doesn't really, really take a lot of power. Um... Maybe the sub pump. I know that that requires a lot of power, but uh, you can make it do. Lots of people do it. Lots of people are powering their whole entire houses off of solar power, of course. But they got, you know, a shop like this, you know, where it's got all their electronics and battery storage and stuff in there, and they just run a big monster cable to the house, I guess. But you know, I was just gonna put all that stuff down in the basement. I know that there was somebody on the North Dakota side uh, a little while ago. Um, somebody in the North Dakota side in that little town, I think, has solar-powered stuff. Because I remember hearing that there was a fire over there. And somebody said it was a a solar shop. Solar-powered shop. Yeah, I guess it had stuff in there. I don't know if they just had an electrical wire problem or, or battery blew up or something. Something happened, but 
burned their, their, little, their little shed down. So, you know, but yeah. Solar power, I think, definitely is the way to go, but you got to know what the hell you're doing, and, you know, you got to keep your stuff fixed and updated. And But, yeah. There's the biggest uh, turbine I can get, you know, within reasonable pricing. It's like a 400 watt. We would need something probably bigger, but you could just put up a couple 400 watts. And there's 800 watts. You know, I think there'd be there'd, there'd be room on top of that roof to do it, but I don't think I ever will. But it's there if you need to. So, but yeah, I guess it's pretty lit, guys. I just wanted to show you the antenna that I finally got it up. Uh, we put it up just earlier today. Um, I, like I said, I just reused uh, DirecTV's old wiring. They had it all, you know, because they, obviously when I signed up to them, they had to run their own wiring. And they never removed it. They didn't want it. They didn't even want the dish. So... And it got stuck up on top of my roof, and it just got it just got left there for a few years until today. I told you guys I was gonna have it installed uh, this summer. Well, it's up now, and it's it's up there, and it's it's doing so far. It's doing what I wanted to do. I think I will have to increase to get a bigger booster, but other than that, it, you know, it's doing fine. It's doing more than enough, so, but, I don't know, for it being kind of cheap, and oh yeah, and it also got rained on today, too, because it was raining, so, the antenna's got some raindrops on it, so it's got its first shower, I don't think it'll last too long, because I don't know, we don't exactly have the right kind of, like, boot covers for the connections, we don't exactly have the right ones. I managed to pull some off of the dish, but like I said, they weren't the right ones, but it's better than nothing. So, I imagine, uh, yeah, we didn't put any, uh, you know, like grease on it or anything to make it waterproof. We didn't really even do that. <clears throat> so this was just kind of a test. I wasn't really even sure if it would work. But it's, it's surprisingly it's working, so I'm going to keep it up there, obviously. But I guess if the antenna gets gets wrecked or something, I'll probably just buy another one. Maybe let something a little more expensive next time. Um, maybe go up a little higher next time. I can go up a little higher because I do have. I don't know what the, what the frick I own oh, right here. I got this big. I got this threaded rod. I'm not sure how long it is. I think it's like six foot, but you know, so even if we went up six feet, you know, it's six feet higher, so it's not bad, you know. But it's kind of thin. But I mean, the weather would never be able to do anything to that. So, but yeah, <clears throat> go up a go up a little higher and get a bigger booster, you know. So I'll probably try to find a bigger booster at some point, and uh, we'll replace that cheap thing, and uh, should be good. So, but yeah, I'll give you guys an update. Um, maybe this fall, because it would have been out all summer, you know, at that time. So I'll give you guys an update maybe this fall on how it's doing, like if it got destroyed by by the weather. I mean, I'm, I imagine if you got one inch hail or bigger, eh, it probably could damage the antenna. Because it's, it's kind of a cheap thing. So, but it is what it is. So, <clears throat> but yeah, so anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. So, I guess uh, there she is. She's up and installed and she's doing her thing. So, for being a cheapy, she's doing her job so far. But I uh, yeah. So if anyone is looking for a dish, a direct TV dish, I could probably sell that to you for 
a fair price. I'm not even sure what the fucking thing's worth. Because I'm not keeping it. I mean, it's... If somebody wants to buy it... <clears throat> or... When I get a loader for the 1586, it will be meeting the underside of the bucket. So... I know that DirecTV says that they got smaller dishes, but I still don't want nothing to do with it. They've improved, but... I don't want nothing to do with it anymore. It's stupid. So... But yeah, anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off, so I guess I have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.